So on November 24th, 2016, six years ago, this channel hit 2,500 subscribers. If you look down in the comments section here, Spy Cakes is saying he would love to do some collabs eventually. At this point, we haven't even done our first collab. And then on September 4th of 2017, five years ago, the channel hit 40,000 subscribers. And again, if we scroll down to the comment section, here's Komodo, just chilling. And then we hit our 100,000 subscribers on April 18th of 2018. And yes, I am wearing a Komodo Gaming merch shirt. Which brings us back here to present day. It is currently February 7th of 2023 and we are celebrating the 1,516,429 subscribers special. When I hit 100K, I asked you guys, what should I do if I ever hit a million subscribers? And the majority of y'all said, let's do a house tour for a million. So am I a little late? Yeah, you can say that. I'm only 516,429 subscribers late though. So honestly, it could be a lot worse. All right, I'm gonna take y'all down to the front door and we'll start there, I guess. All right, fellas, here we are at my house door. Huh, you thought this was a house tour video? No, it's all about my door here. You can look at the grains and then stuff. It's actually falling apart. I gotta fix that. Anyways, if you walk into my front door, you will end up in this room over here. Now, I don't know what this room is supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be like a dining room or a den. I just put a bunch of arcades in it. And over here is my cat nest. This is where all the cat toys and dog toys go. It's, it's quite the mess over here. That's fine. And then I got some more arcades in my wife's collectible toys in these little cases here. We're still filling up that one apparently. She needs to get to work. And if you turn over here, you will see a puppy on the sofa. Her name is Daisy May. Oh, my old pillow. Yep, that's what the channel used to look like in 2016. Crazy. And then this was supposed to be like a retro gaming setup. I was gonna put like my Super Nintendo, Sega, and my old like Xbox and stuff. But I just, um, it's been like three years and we just, he never did it. He's supposed to do it. Ghost, ghost. He's not gonna do it. Anyways, ignoring this room, we gotta throw this away by the way. If anyone wants to help me move this, it's, it's not that heavy, I can do it myself. Over here is the main living room area and then we have, oh my goodness, oh, oh, I hope y'all didn't see that, excuse me there. A little, a little embarrassing. Don't know how that got on the TV there. Over here, this is Ari. Uh, that's my TV, obviously. By the way, I got this sofa from Amazon. I had no idea that Amazon made such like nice sofas. This is the best sofa I've ever owned in my life. And then anyway, over here, this is where my Nintendo Switch goes right here. It's not plugged in, but it will be plugged in. And then over here is my Steam Deck, which is plugged in. And I used that one actually. Over here was gonna be a cat fortress. It used to be a cat fortress, but they, um, they busted it. There was a collapse on it, so that didn't um, pan out too well. That's what it looks like from this direction here. This is more of my wife's stuff. Uh, There's just stuff, just stuff. Here's a picture of Lulu. This is my cat, she's still alive, see? But she's a very elusive cat, so like this is about the most you'll ever see of her right, right there. Anyways, coming back around, this is my kitchen. This is where kitchen things happen. I'm not sure what you was expecting to see in the kitchen. Uh, we, we do have complimentary popcorn and bread though, if you want that. This is, uh, we got a new stove and um, I gotta fix this. This is like just not painted. I'm thinking either paint or we do backsplash, which is like tiles on the back wall. I don't know, paint would be way easier. Backsplash would be way harder. So this is my refrigerator that I bought. I really wanted it because I wanted to put pictures on it. That's Dr. Mundo, Ari, Turtle, Daisy, Ghostface, Cooler, and Abba Zabba, and that's Lulu. And this is my kitchen island. Oh, by the way, I, I, I did this myself, guys. That's right, your boy's a handyman. I took double-sided tape and slapped it up there. <laughs> That's right, that is right. All right, that is basically the kitchen and the den in the living room. I know, not much to see over there. Uh, in this room here, this goes underneath the stairs. That's just where we keep the cat stuff. So not very exciting there. This is my wife's uh, crafting pantry thing where she crafts stuff and nope, 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 no. Nope. You can't go in there. That's where we have to close these doors, guys. This cat will eat anything. And here's my laundry room slash garage, which I'll get to that later. And then this is my guest room, I guess. Uh, it's mostly like Daisy's room. 
I don't know how she went from the den to here really quick, but this is the room. Yeah, basically just like a guest room slash, I don't know, dog slash cat room, apparently. Oh, by the way, if you guys are wondering what this giant wire is that like goes like all the way from there all the way down to like the ground, this actually leads into my wife's office, which she asked me not to show because she likes her privacy. And plus there's a lot of papers in there and I don't want to have to blur anything out. That's a bathroom. So, yeah, yeah. One of these days I'm gonna get in the attic and properly run this bad boy through the walls, but we just haven't gotten there yet. Anywho, if we make our way to the backyard, I have a screen door that I have to go through. And this is my backyard. It's all right. I like it, I'm happy here. A little messy right now, a lot of weeds, but I had a very sick cat on my hands and it really took a lot of my time for the last seven, six, seven months. So I kind of just neglected the outside of the house, especially the backyard, but yeah, this was it. Uh, anything notable here? Oh, the grass here, I that's that's new. That wasn't here when I bought the house or the grass at the very tippy top way up there, you could barely see it. That's new grass right there. It's all fake grass, guys. And then it goes over here as well. And then they made me, <laughs> the people made me a grass doormat, which I actually really like. And then over here, uh, that's more grass over there. This is, uh, I got new screens here, which I'm very excited. They just been installed like a month ago. This is just a swimming pool where I swim in the water. Uh, it goes pretty deep. I think it's like eight foot or something. I actually don't know. It goes over my head, so it's definitely over five feet. Up here is my jacuzzi. It's a little messy, but we haven't used it in about half a year or so. So, you know, I'll get that, get that cleaned up in a little bit here. Like the pool though. I use the pool all the time. That's a fun place to be. Alrighty, heading back indoors here. Cats and puppies staring everywhere. Uh, I guess we go somewhere else now. I, I don't know. All right, we're gonna follow this cat up the stairs. Okay, he's leading the way. That's Abba Zabba. He is leading the way to the tippy top. This is where the wire begins. <laughs> it's a long traveling wire, guys. It's like 100 foot long. That's my office. That's the master bedroom. We'll go in there. This is just like a little den area. This is where I kind of keep the cat food and the cat water. The water would be here, but it's in my office right now. And that's some cat food. And this is what it looks like if you would fall off the balcony. Don't do that. My cats have all fallen off it at least like twice, so don't do that. Oh, this, so this is my office. This is a pantry where you put towels and stuff. Instead, I put carpet on the shelves and turned it into a cat castle. I'm gonna hang like cat toys. Oh, it's kind of dark. Cat toys down. They'd be cool. Ghost really loves it. Abba Zabba kind of loves it. The other cats don't care. This is my bathroom. Wow, amazing. I don't know what he's expecting. It's just a toilet. Literally just a toilet and a bathtub. Hey, I've been doing it so long, Angry Goose is on. Yo, that's my favorite, I love Angry Goose. Anyways, over here, we're gonna go this way here. We go through the door. This is my laundry machine. It barely, barely fits in this little room. I measured it out, but I measured it like an inch too uh, short. So it, the door closes, that's all that matters. And you can open these, these open, so that's good. Uh, that's stuff. And this is my garage. It's a little messy right now. Um, I had it really, really clean at one point, um, but then my cat Mundo got really sick and then it kind of evolved into chaos. Anyways, this is where I work out. <laughs> Don't want to brag or anything, but those are 35 pound plates. That's right. Nah, that's, I died. Uh, this is an elliptical and a TV that I hung up. TV's pretty cool. But yeah, I haven't had a lot of time, that's all trash stuff basically. I haven't had a lot of time to spend in here. I haven't had a, a lot of time to work out or clean it like I'd want to. That's my old gaming chair, by the way. But this is gonna be a project of mine in the upcoming month or two to get that all cleaned up. And this is my uh, my Tesla. I really like this car. I got some junk in the back right now. I'm taking all this, these boxes and stuff to the dump, but yeah, it's pretty cool in there. I really like it. Just gotta turn on the music before copyright. I don't want to get copyrighted. That's what it looks like on the inside. So pretty cool. I really like it. I love it, actually. I had such big plans for this garage. 
then my cats got sick, then I rescued another cat, and then I just put all my, my time and energy into that, and I kind of just let it go for a little bit, but we're gonna get it back. We're gonna make this place look poppin'. Alrighty, if we just follow the wire and the cat will be at my room in no time. Watch out, buddy. Now, if you look down here, actually, before we go in, I want to point out something here. This cat here, this is Ghostface. Dude, he tore my carpet, so I took another piece of carpet and I cut a square around it and kind of stuffed it in there. I can't fix it properly because I can't let the cat that's in there out yet. Hold on, let me come in here. This is my room. Oh, there she is. Hey, bud. What's going on, guy? Yeah, my floor's a little messy. Um, this is where she lives for the next nine days. And in nine more days, she can go out there and meet the entire world. Right, bud? Yeah. You can go out in like nine more days, guy. That's all it is. Just nine more. That's not even that long, yo. Anyways, this is what my office looks like. Um, a lot of people ask me what this thing in the wall is. It's basically, uh... I cut a big, okay, so basically I cut a big line through the wall and then I put a little piece of uh, some, uh, like material behind here and then I have two rows of LEDs that go across it and then there's like plexiglass over it that is sanded down and then these are just like little, these are like $3 from Home Depot. They're just up there. My disc plates and then my shadow boxes. I got all these shadow boxes in, I think it was Philly when I went to hang out with Komodo and Brandon for the uh, convention at one point. So, got some of those. Oh, cat, cat just attacked me. That's my computer. A lot of people ask me what my computer is. This is what it looks like underneath. Basically, I built a box to contain all the wires so that cats don't um, eat all the wires, basically. But there's a 3090 and I can't really get back here. It's just, a computer. So yeah, this is my basic setup here. I got a giant curved monitor. It's, it's basically two monitors. I use it as two monitors. Uh, it like, it splits down the middle pretty nicely. So I record my games on the right. I play on the right. And then on the left side is my recording software. The TV up here is also my third monitor that I uh, usually have Discord, Spotify, basically anything I want to like be able to see on the fly, kind of up there. This is my microphone that you guys probably see in the videos. This is the Rode NT1, pretty cool. These are my headsets. A lot of y'all ask me what headsets I use. There you go, HD660S. This is where all my audio feeds into here. I got everything going through the walls right now, like all the wires, I mean, except for this one. This one kind of just goes straight down. Didn't want to deal with that. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Over here is where I pretend to try to be an artist. I drew, I drew, uh, I drew that. I don't know if it's any good. Some people tell me they love my thumbnails. Some people say they absolutely hate them. So, I don't know, but I like it. That is basically it. Um, that's my mini fridge my friend got me for my uh, birthday. Hey, little buddy. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. It must be hard being locked in a room for, you know, two weeks, but we, we're making it through. We getting through it. Oh, my new camera, by the way. I got this camera not too long ago. It's the Sony A6100, I believe. Works really well. I love it. Also, I want to point out that a lot of people in my comment section is like, <laughs> nice mouse pad, OB. What are you, some grandma? Guys, this is the Aqua Control Plus. Just because it looks like an older mouse pad, it's great for games like COD and games like Apex. By the way, I would kick your butt in Apex, so don't even test me, bro. Oh, I forgot, guys. So, uh, if you've been keeping up my channel, you probably know Dr. Mundo did pass away uh, a few days after Christmas. But look, I got his little paw prints right here. Yeah, super sad. Every time I look at it, I kind of tear up, but you know, he goes back there. He watches over the videos. He makes sure I don't do anything too stupid. And that was my house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, What should we do at 2 million subscribers? Someone let me know in the comments. And when we get to 2.7 million, then I'll do it probably. But in all honesty, thank y'all so much for all the support you show in the channel. Whether it's the videos, the streams, I'm just super fortunate to be here. Like this couldn't have been possible without any of y'all. The number one question I get on my channel is, Obi, do you remember me? And honestly, if you've ever left a comment on my channel, yeah, 
I remember you. And I can honestly say that truthfully. If you've ever left a comment on my videos, chances are I've probably replied to it. If not, I definitely read them. I read every single comment and I reply to, I would say 80 to 90% of all my comments. I mean, let's be honest. Some of y'all be posting on videos back in 2016 at three o'clock in the morning. Ain't no way OB gonna be able to find that comment. But if you post my newer stuff within the week or so, chances are I've probably replied. And the reason I spent so much time replying to all the comments is because I appreciate them. A lot of y'all say some really, really nice stuff. And like, if I'm ever having a bad day, I'm pretty positive I can go to my comment section and it'll cheer me up. So that's it guys, that's my house. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course I'll see you all in the next video.